Spectrum Smart Batteries. Some important info about the charge current. This battery says a maximum of a 3C charge rate is 9.6 amps. Well, the amps that the battery gets charged is by how you program the little computer in here so it can tell the charger how much to be charged by. If you don't have a charger with a screen, then you don't know how fast or how slow or how little or how much. You don't know what C charge rate the battery is getting charged at. All that is determined by either using your XBC 100 or a charger with a screen. If you don't have a charger with a screen, then you just don't know. So let me show you just some cool things about charging the C rating, the amperage. And in a future video, this is a Spectrum Smart G2 battery. And behind it is a G1. The difference is there's no balance lead on the Generation 2s. There's pros and cons about that, and uh, we can go into a bunch of details about that and uh, have a good have a good discussion about it. Anyways, let me show you charge rate and how you determine that by using your XBC 100. Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Plains. I got the old extra 330 out today for a couple good rips, about seven packs, and we did a video or two about smart batteries and programming them using your XBC 100 and all the cool things that you can see in the screen of the XBC 100. We talked about updating the batteries. Well, here is a generation two smart pack. And I don't know if this thing has ever been updated and I figure we will plug it into the XBC 100 together and just see what happens. So uh, without further ado, Let's just go for it. Version 109. And look at that. Update smart battery, yes or no. So right here, we have the ability to update the battery. I'm gonna unplug it, and we're gonna plug this battery into my smart charger and see if it charges on its own. And if it doesn't, then we will update it. So we'll just unplug that guy. Got my Spectrum Smart Charger. I'm gonna plug the battery into it, and then I'm gonna show you guys the screen, and we'll see, we'll see what happens here. Kind of hard to film the screen here, guys. I tried and tried. So in goes the battery. Initializing Smart Charge. initializing and initializing and it's charging so I wonder what the update was for it could be and it is charging it at 0.4 amps that is horrible this this spectrum g2 I'm just gonna let me stop this that's that's horrible so this spectrum g2 it's a 3s 2200 at a 1C charge rate would be 2.2 amps. And at a 2C charge rate, it would be 4.4. And I believe that says a 5C down at the bottom. Get this guy to focus. 11 amps is the maximum that this battery can be charged at. So let's go back into the XBC. Don't look at my finger. Don't look at my finger now. Oops. Yes. And we will see what the difference is after it's updated because it shouldn't be charging at 0.4 amps. That would really hurt the battery to charge it way below like that. I don't think uh I don't think your lipo would ever ever be ever be good again if you charged at the at the 
I, I don't believe it would take a charge. It would be sitting on the charger for probably a month. You know, it, it probably takes more than 0 0.4 of an amp just to run the computer inside the battery. You know, I don't know how you could charge it with 0.4. So maybe this will, the update will cure it. You know, like I said in previous uh, videos, you know, these batteries are made, you know, who knows how long ago. There's probably other companies out there that uh, maybe use a battery just like this. And being that we're, and then Spectrum puts their wrapper on it. And now that we're updating it, it's getting all the, the Spectrum firmware. I mean, that's a possibility, but they need to be updated before they can work correctly. You know, my friend had a problem problem just like this that he, he couldn't get to charge until he updated it and then then it worked so let's see we're almost there almost the 87 88 so at 20,000 subscribers I'm giving away three jets guys we can do it sooner than later so make sure that you're still subscribed or subscribe update complete press a button to exit booyah let's see what the battery info is right there maximum 5c which would be a uh, what the 11 amp i think we thought it was yeah all right back in the charger we go back in the charger i had to select the left side that i had it plugged into we first had it plugged into the right side in channel two Initializing. All right, so let's see what it's charging at. And it's still charging at 0.4. No faults. Pretty interesting, huh? So it's set at 0.4. That's almost like a storage charge or something. That's interesting. So let's see what the setting is in here. Charge current 0.4. Interesting. So, a 1C charge rate would be 2.2. A 2C charge rate would be 4.4. A 6.6 .6 is a 3C. All right. So, 6.6 .6 is what we set it at. Back in the charger. Hmm, there we go. This takes it a second. So let's see if it's charging at a 3C charge rate of the 6.6. And there it is, 6.6. Yeah, we'll stop that guy. G2 versus a G G1. The bounce cable is uh is the difference. You know, these things discharge on their own. It'd be a bummer to charge it on Monday and then head to the flying field on Saturday. And then you get to the flying field and the battery's dead. And your brand new apprentice does a... I've seen it happen twice. 